Hey Alana, it's Dibe. I see it's time for another installment of what? Me normal? Oh, no, sorry, that's are you normal? It's number seven and that means it's time for another cooler. And I'm gonna try and do this one without gum today. Silly boo, that's for you. Didn't swallow. Okay, on to the questions. Number one, do you wind your spaghetti or cut it? I'm a winder. Or is that a whiner? No, I'm a winder. Number two, how many cereals are in your cupboard? I'm including instant oatmeal. One, I think. There might be a little bit in the second box, but I'm not sure. Showers or baths, how often? How long does your shower or bath last? I'm a shower girl. Every single day, every morning, I have a shower. Um, sometimes later in the day or in the evening, if it's been a particularly hot and muggy day and I feel really sweaty and yucky, before I go to bed, I might have a shower. Um, once in a blue moon, I relax in a luxurious bath with a glass of wine and some candles. Number four, do you dry your hair with a blower or natural air? I'd like to say it's all natural, but nothing natural about this. So it's a blower all the way. Number five, do you consider vanity a bad word? It's a six letter word. Um, would you rather be considered vain or selfish? Would you rather be considered vain than dull? You always come up with the deepest thought questions. I just, hmm. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say vanity is a bad word used in the right context. No. You may ask, is there ever a right context to be vain? Um, in small doses, I think vanity could be a good thing. That means you um, want to take care of yourself, of your body, um, of your looks. <laughs> Would I go out in public without makeup? Absolutely. Um, would I go to a, a function that required I looked, you know, proper without makeup? No. Uh, second part, would I rather be considered vain or selfish? Well, again, selfish in the right context could be good. Um, to, be, to be selfish um, in the negative sense is not good. So would I rather be considered vain or selfish? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> mm. That's a tough question because I don't really want to be considered either. So I think I'll just leave it at that. And would I rather be considered vain than dull? I don't think no matter how hard I try, I can be dull. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just, I like to have fun too much. I like to laugh. So I think to be considered dull would actually shock me, so as much as I really don't want to be considered vain, I'd have to choose vain. Number six, have you ever attracted the particular attention of a bona fide internet nut job or been involved in any internet drama? Yes, and yes. Way, 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 way back when chat rooms were huge and sort of on the horizon attracted a bona fide nut job. <clears throat> Although I didn't find out he was a nut job until he advised me that he was flying over from Ireland and was coming to stay with me. Um, which I really didn't have much of a problem with because at that point I didn't consider him a nut job. It was while he was here for the week um, visiting that he started making plans to have his car brought over and he was going to move in with me permanently and it was like 
No way. No. See ya. Want your plane? Here, let me drive you to the airport a couple days early. He was a he was a crack job. And that really freaked me out, so I kind of stayed away from chat rooms for quite a while. Um, internet drama, yeah, I got sucked into one by accident. I fell prey to someone with a sob story and then found out that someone not only wasn't the same gender they were partaking or portraying, um, but didn't have this sob story after all. And it was just really messy and really lucky and I, yeah, I hate it. Number seven, what worries you more, your financial or physical security? Well, I think I sort of covered that back in the um, retirement home thing. If I have all of my faculties about me, I think that it would be more of a financial worry. Um, <clears throat> if you mean physical security by, uh, do I worry about whether I'm going to be harmed or injured in any way? No, I can't live my life like that, um, looking over my shoulder. I, I can't be worried about that kind of thing. So I think it's the financial I'd have to pick. And number eight, do you consider yourself funny? No. No, I consider myself an ass. So that's pretty much it. So thanks, Alana. I really had fun doing this one again, and I look forward to number eight. And I'm still trying to figure out, am I normal? Cheers!